Hello, this is lab 15 in our series of light and optics experiments. In this lab, we are going to learn an important practical skill that every photonics technician has to have, and that's a collimation of the laser beam. Laser produces the laser beam, and an important output characteristic of the laser beam is a diameter and so-called divergence. Divergence is basically telling us how much the diameter of the beam is changing as it is propagating away from the laser. So more divergence a laser beam has means that its diameter is expanding more as we are moving away from uh, the aperture of that laser. This is uh, one of uh, undesirable characteristics of the laser. So there is certain techniques where you can collimate the beam, meaning reduce the divergence of the beam. And that's exactly what we are going to do in this lab. The collimating optical system that we are going to introduce in this lab is going to consist of two lenses, one being a biconvex and another one being a biconcave and those two lenses are the lenses that we used in the lab 12 and the lab 13 where we calculated their focal lengths and in this lab we are going to be positioning them on the path of the laser beam from our red laser diode module adjusting the distance between the two until we reach the point where the diameter of the laser beam coming from the laser and the propagating through the lenses is not going to change its diameter. So the learning outcomes for this lab is to learn what the beam collimation means, to identify the optical components that are used to collimate the laser beam, and finally to conduct a practical experiment in which laser beam of our laser is to be collimated. We will use the following equipment in this lab. Red laser diode module. We will be adjusting the focusing optics in the fixture of our module. And then here we have a laser holder. We have two lenses, biconcave and biconvex lens, used in labs 12 and 13. They're mounted here, as you can see, in our lens holders. We also have a back screen that's made out of an index card mounted onto the lens holder. And then for the measurements, we are going to use the ruler. We also need a pencil and we need a white sheet of paper. So the purpose of this lab is to collimate the laser beam. The assumption is that our laser beam is diverging. So our laser diode module that we are using has this focusing optics here in front. And that focusing optics is uh, collimating beam relatively well. So you'd want to remove this fixture off of the laser diode. There's also this uh, front fixture here into which the focusing optic is positioned. So you can uh, unscrew this uh, front fixture to uh, create more of a divergence. So at this point, uh, the focusing optic is working pretty well. As you can see in the back screen, our laser diode is producing a laser beam that's uh, not changing that much uh, its diameter. So if you unscrew this fixture at the front, you can create more of a diverging beam. So here I'm unscrewing for a few more turns. And right now you can see that I significantly increased the divergence of the beam. So now if I'm moving the screen back and forth, you can see how this beam is changing its diameter based on the position of the back screen relative to the laser diode. Now that we adjusted the focusing optics of our red laser diode module to produce more divergence, we would uh, tape it down onto the uh, laser holding block as positioned here. And then here in the back, we have a small index card that's also being positioned in a lens holder. And that's going to serve the purpose of the back screen. As you can see here, we have uh, turned on our laser diode module and we are producing the laser beam. And you can see here the big red spot. And if you take this uh, screen and you push it back and forth, push it closer or farther away, you'll see that the diameter of the laser beam is changing. So as we are moving closer to our red laser diode module, the diameter of the laser beam shrinks in size. And as we are moving further away from the laser diode module, we see that the diameter of the laser beam is increasing. So the purpose of this lab is to create a collimating optical system that is going to collimate the beam of our red laser diode module. By collimating, we mean reducing the divergence of it so that at any distance away from the laser, the diameter of the beam stays the same. So in order to do that, we are going to use two lenses, a biconcave and biconvex lens. These two lenses have been extensively covered in labs 13 and 12, where we measure the focal length of each of the two. So we're using two same lenses in this uh, experiment. So the way how we are going to create the collimating system is 
first we are going to put diverging lens on a beam path and you can see when I put this diverging lens the diameter of the beam has significantly increased so this so-called diverging lens is going to create a more of a diverging beam now in order for this lab to be successful it's important to adjust the height of both lenses so that laser beam hits exactly at the center of the lens here is uh, my diverging lens and then if I put my converging lens between the back screen and the diverging lens, you can see that the diameter of the laser beam is going to be reduced. Again, you want to make sure that the position of your lens is so adjusted to, for the laser beam to hit the center of the lens. So again, when I'm positioning the converging lens, you can see that addition of the converging lens is reducing the diameter of the beam. Now, the assignment that needs to be completed for the rest of this lab is to find the distance between the, the, the positions of these two uh, lenses, diverging and converging one, so that the diameter of the laser beam on the back screen always stays the same and is not a function of the distance of the back screen from uh, our collimating optical system. So if I start moving this uh, back screen, you can see that we have already established the collimation to a certain extent, meaning the diameter of the beam is not changing that much. So if I remove the converging lens, you'll see that the divergence is significantly more. So adding the converging lens here is already improving the collimation of the beam. So what you want to do is you want to change the positions of the two lenses. You want to change the distance between the two lenses and play with the back screen by moving it back and forth until you achieve the collimation of the beam, meaning at any position along the way, the diameter of the beam should not be changing. With this position of uh, the two lenses, I have uh, achieved a reasonably collimated uh, laser beam, meaning the diameter of the beam is not changing that much. So at this point, we would want to measure the distance between two lenses. So here's my ruler. So the distance from here up to there. And we are also going to draw a line here. So if I measure this distance, it comes about to be around 13 centimeter. So this distance here, D is equal to 13 centimeter. Okay, now if we recall lab 13, we measured for the focal length of the diverging lens, F1 equal to 5.2 centimeters. And in the lab 12, we measured the focal length of a converging lens and we calculated the focal length of that lens to be equal to 7 centimeters. Now, it's also important to mention that whenever we are doing the calculation with the focal lengths and uh, distances in geometrical optics, the focal length of the diverging lens is to be taken with a negative sign. So this focal length here is supposed to be equal to minus 5.2 centimeter. Okay, so according to the laws of geometrical optics, in order for the system of the two lenses to provide for a good collimation of the laser beam, the distance between the two has to be equal to the difference in the focal length of the converging and diverging lens. In other words, the distance calculated is going to be equal to the focal length of the converging lens minus the focal length of the diverging lens. So what we can do is we can substitute for the two values that we uh, calculated in the labs 12 and 13. So the focal length of the converging lens, we are going to substitute 7 centimeters and then minus and then the focal length of the diverging lens is equal to minus 5.2 centimeters. And if we do this math, we come up with the value of the distance calculated of 12.2 centimeters. Now, what we also observe is that the distance measured is equal to 13 centimeters. So we are relatively close. So we measured the distance between the two lenses to be about 13 centimeters for the good collimation of the beam while the calculations are giving us 12.2. So here we can calculate the error percentage. So error percentage is going to be equal to the absolute value of the measured minus the calculated over the value of the d calculated multiplied by 100. So if we do this math, 
13 minus 12.2 absolute value is going to turn out to be 0.8 centimeters over the calculated value of 12.2 centimeters times 100 so we can cancel the units so 0 0.8 over 12.2 so 0 0.8 over 12.2 gives me 0 0.066 or this is equal to 6.6 percent so the percentage error in our measurement is about 6.6 percent